In this demo, I will talk about adding support for additional data and settings uh, with USMT. First of all, there are two main settings where we can configure what data is being backed up. And the first, first one is profiles because USMT will have different backup methods for the content in the profile or different rules than it normally has for the, for the computer machine itself. And the profiles we can limit by using command line switches to uh, scan state. So for example, I commonly use the following. In this case, scan state will only migrate my domain users that has been logged onto that machine. The problem is, what if a machine has been around a few years you might, have, you might have 20 profiles on that box. How can we limit those? Well, we can basically use a switch called UEL and a fixed number of days. So it will only migrate profiles being logged on to the machine the past 60 days or two months. Of course, you need to, to pay attention for people being home on paternity and maternity leave, but hopefully the HR department has, has, is keeping track on that one. The problem with these two these switches cannot be combined. You have to select either one. So either you would do this or you would do this. A better way of dealing with old profiles is creating a group policy that actually will do the cleaning first. And then you only need this one. Then for the data and settings we basically use the XML templates to control that data. And to do an example, or show you an example, I would go into the help file. Program files, Windows Ike, docs, shums, the usempty.shum help file. And in the reference, you can see some common examples on, for example, how to migrate a specific, fo specific folder, like this. This is a sample template that will migrate to my video folder. If I want to use this one, I will simply copy and paste this into a text document and I will store this document into my production use empty architecture and give it the name myvideo.xml for example like this and save it. Now in order for MDT to use these additional templates and switches we have to turn to the rules because this is where we add them into MDT. So I will take the rules, I will go to my deployment share, and I would say, well, scan state args equals this. Now these arguments will be added in addition to the already existing arguments of the scan state command. And since I've added a new template, I have to specify all the different templates I want to use like this and my new one like this. Now I'm telling you SMT to or an MDT to actually use additional templates and additional switches to the commands.